Hi, Black Cat Demon here, and I finally finished my American Graffiti Do Scoop model by Ravel. And here it is. This kit came out in 2000. This is a die cast body kit. Um, this kit is molded in metal, so the body's already pre painted for you. So the fenders, the grill, and the headlights. The bars up here are metal, the body's metal, the roof is metal, and the axle on the front and back are also metal. Another thing that's neat your wheels will spin pretty freely. The front ones don't want to spin that good, but they spin real nice. Um, this kit, if you was to sit down with the bottle of glue that's given to you, you can probably build this within a day or two. But if you're like me and you want to take your time and put some, you know, effort into it, you can do the, the wires and stuff like that. You can do all the paintwork. So you can take some time and make this more, you know, spot onto the movie. But coming from someone that has built both the AMT one and this one, this is more movie accurate. So this one you have the correct motor and the correct shifter and the gas pedals and the interior and you get the tail lights on this thing. Another thing that's cool about this, you get the, the mirror and the the door knobs and everything. I mean it's just a nice kit all around. I mean another thing that was neat too was they already had like the back play already done for you as far as it was already on the body and the front one was also on there. Um, the AMT one and the NPC one does not come with the plates at all for this car. So that was actually a nice little uh, kit add-on to this. But it's a really nice model. I mean, I was surprised like, when I opened it up and I flipped up the, the, uh, the roof up here. And I seen the lines for the interior. I mean, they actually had the grooves and everything like what the real car has for the interior or for the roof. So I thought that was pretty nice and everything. Um, the only thing I found on this that was kind of a pain is on some of the areas, some of the tabs on here, um, I had to do some sanding on them so that they would fit into place easier. Um, some of the holes they were kind of a little too small so I had to drill them out. But I didn't really have too many problems with this kit. Um, it was actually a nice kit. Um, like I said, I just did some minor work on this. I did some paint work and everything. I did some washes. Um, the muffler and everything, I mean, we even get the, the muffler pipes and everything going back and everything. So, again, we get quite a bit of movie accuracy on this kit and everything compared to the other one. Um, this car is a little bit bigger than the NPC one. It has some nice weight to it being the die cast and everything. But it is all around a beautiful kit. And like I said, this is coming from someone that owns the 79 model and the 2003 one as well as now the 2000 Revell kit. And when you're buying the model, if you want... The, the other ones as far as the NPC and the AMT and you want for collective purpose, I understand that. But if you want one that's going to look like the movie car and everything, you're going to want this car. And I mean, this is just nice. I mean, we have the gauges. I mean, there's like a lot of little stuff here and there. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the seam line right in here, but I do give them credit as far as where they ran the the, uh, the line. It's pretty much like to some degree trying to get to that curve on the body and everything. But this is a really nice model kit. This is a beautiful display piece for any American Graffiti fan. So this is going to look nice up on the shelf. This is, this one will look good when I finish up the Chevy Street Machine. And I have these two displayed. So I will have this one and I will have the Chevy Street Machine done. And they will sit next to each other and they will look pretty cool. I mean on my other shelf I got the uh, AMT one with the American Graffiti Dragster I built. So that shelf has the boxes and everything over on it. My other shelf will have now the coupe and it will get the Chevy and that way I will still have Milner and Felfa's car together and then I'll have the other one where I have, might as well say in, in one sense, I'll, I'll have Graffiti 1 and Graffiti 2 over here on my shelves. So bye, thanks for watching, here's a bunch of photos of this car.